Got this nice glass right here. My varietal beer co glass. They're nearby in my valley. This is the beer right here. That's that uh, dry hopped lager right there. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Il Festiaggio. But um, real good stuff. Cool little art on the front. It's just a uh, dry hopped lager. So it's kind of a, uh, I wouldn't say it's super hoppy, but hoppy for a lager. And uh, it's nice. Really drinkable, crushable, refreshing. All right. As you saw in the uh, picture there, we're going to be using some Strike Gold Shave Tussa Silk Tester. So I don't think this has a, uh, I don't think the new Nick, the new base has a nickname just yet, or if it does, I haven't been brought in the loop. But this is a little sample. Um, Frank wanted me to give my impressions and um, any feedback to him. So there it is. Uh, it, it is, it's not super hard. You can press in on it, but it is rather firm um, compared to uh, a lot of the soaps I own. So it's not like triple milled or anything like that, but it's definitely uh, firmer than some of the soaps I, I uh, own. I'm going to be using my Grizzly Bay brush in distilled water, and that has a Strike Gold Shave Hair Force 1 knot on it. Love that knot. It's tied for my favorite knot in the den. Got my Lancaster bowl with some soap pressed in the bottom. And then we're going to be using the Rex Envoy right here. Taking this baby for another spin. And it's got a pole silver blade in it. So that's what we'll be using there. All right. <clears throat> so basically we're going to be giving some impressions on the on the uh, updated soap base. This is an update to the uh, Patriots base. And this has tallow. It's a tallow base. Um, and it has Tussa silk and goat's milk. And those are the, um, those are the, I suppose, key drivers in this, uh, this update so immediately it just it just soaked in the water from um, from my brush so I'm gonna immediately dump some distilled water in there get my first edition of water going I notice it just soaked that up real quick this might be a thirsty one guys <clears throat> so Man, it really just soaked up this second edition too, which is good. This is where we're at. It's just soaking it in, taking it in. I have no, I don't have any problems with a uh, thirsty soap. Get a little bit bigger splash of distilled water on that second edition. Like I said, I'm not gonna break out the beakers and syringes, but uh, I try to pour about the same amount in each edition. And if not, I still kind of, you know, go by looks and by feel. So, I was told the scent is not going to be the final product. So we're not going to be really talking much about the scent. Um, I can say I like what the, what's there, but it's not going to be the final product. So there's no point in even, uh, no point in even talking about it, really. All right. Now this is looking a little bit better here. It's looking real creamy already, but I think it could take more water. Let me see if I could get with the light. It's looking real dense and I like that, but we're gonna add some more water. Cause I got enough for a, for a few shaves. So no hesitation if we, uh, if we push this too far. <clears throat> we added another good addition there. And it looks like it's just, it's just taking it, you know, which is a good sign. I like it when a, when a soap could take a lot of water. I I was pretty, uh, pretty honored that, uh, Frank 
reached out to me to uh, do some of these impressions, you know. That means he kind of values my feedback enough to uh, take into consideration what I think about his products. And then those products, you know, could be could lead to the final product that everybody else gives their impressions on. So it is pretty, uh, it's an honor, you know, to have that privilege. And this is where we're at here. I think that looks pretty damn good. I don't know about y'all. But that looks pretty good to me. So that's what we're going with. And take another sip. Ah, got some soap on my glass. All right, let's get some water on the face. So that was pretty easy to lather. I did three decent water additions along with the water that was already in the Hair Force One knot. Even though I, uh, I gave it a little ring, <clears throat> still retains moisture. Let's go ahead and uh, scrub it into the whiskers there. I love this Hair Force One knot. And I'm super excited about the hand tied knots that Frank is putting together. Haven't really been asked to uh, review much or give impressions much or be a tester of much so it is an honor and I want to make sure that uh, I do it justice and I take it seriously so I'll say this stuff whipped up very nicely very easily which is always a good sign because that means it's user friendly it's it's um, gonna work for you if you're in a pinch or you don't have much time in the mornings to bust out a shave. It's always, always, always a good sign when it, the ease of lather is there. And like I said, even after the uh, second water addition, it looked like it was usable then, but I just wanted to push it a little further. But looks really good guys looks really good has nice density has a little bit of weight to it so let's go ahead and give this first round a go cue the uh, sirens in the back <laughs> So far, so good. All right. And we're off. And I will say, this is feeling pretty damn slick, which is expected. I definitely liked the Patriot base. Thought it was good stuff. <clears throat> but this is an addition to that. So we'll see how it goes. I like the weight that it has. Which is something I've been talking about a lot. That kind of density that the soap maintains. That I feel like that directly correlates with cushion. Now if you have, you know, spot on technique all the time and you never make mistakes, you might not need all that cushion, but it's nice to have. We all make mistakes. We don't all have a hundred percent focus all the time. So, it's good to have that little, that density, 
that provides cushion. So that was a good a uh, good first pass there. Kind of effortless. Just kind of wring some of that back out of the beard. Redistribute it. Get some down here redistributed. As well as introduce a little bit more moisture from the hands. Pretty smooth first pass. Um, gotta say, I like the density. I like the kind of weight that it carries. I don't know. For me, it's it's just a it's like a good sign. You know what I mean? It's a good sign that the uh, the soap is gonna be protective. It's gonna have that cushion. Now, it's low structure, but high density. All right. Let's get some more out of the bowl here. Now, it had real good slickness on the with the grain pass, but as we all know, the against the grain pass is where it matters. So we'll lather up and see what we get. lather everywhere look at that look at the density on that very nice very nice it's always time to, to play with your lather a little bit just <laughs> Like, I, you know the one that I like is when people say it's like a melted marshmallow consistency? I always like that one. I go camping a lot, and uh, I can totally picture... can totally picture what they're saying when they say it has that melted marshmallow consistency. And I think this one definitely kind of fits that bill. Just has a, a nice weight on your face. All right, here we go. Well, shit. Now, <clears throat> I don't know what the scent's going to be on this. I'm sure it's going to be great because Frank has just been killing it with his releases. I mean, every single release sounds good. You know what I mean? Every single release. But, Jennifer Marting is the soap maker, and I've always been a fan of hers. Um, back to the Mason Boutique days. And I've said this before on my channel, this isn't like all of a sudden I get sent to test soap and now I'm a shill. <laughs> I've said that for a long time. Alright guys. I feel like this is just... I feel like it has plenty of slickness, like, this is where I get into kind of that, that territory where it's like, if you need more slickness than this, you need to go back to the drawing board and think about some different technique options that you might, <laughs> that you might need to be taking advantage of because, in my opinion, you... <laughs> You'll never need more slickness than this. I said I don't have some crazy system where I rate soaps and I give them a value and then which one's the king and which one's not. I don't have that and I never will. But this is a damn good soap. I don't know if he's going to stick with it as final product or if he's gonna make more tweaks 
But I like that soap. You know what I mean? I just buzz through a shave while jacking my jaw the whole time. No issues whatsoever. I love the density, the face feel that it had while on the skin. It was definitely protective. I thought it had plenty of slickness, more slickness than I would ever really need. And I'm gonna go without any post shave products. That way we can get kind of more uh, a realistic feel of what the post shave is gonna be. And obviously I'm not gonna give you impressions you know, about the post shave feel on this video, but maybe on the next one, I'll let you know how it goes. But damn. Just smooth. The Envoy, I really like the Envoy. That's affordable luxury right there, that Envoy. It's good stuff. All right, let's get this off the face. kind of recap a little bit all right so new strike gold shave soap base on the horizon it's an addition to the Patriots base it's gonna be tallow with Tessa silk and goat's milk as well as other things, obviously. Those are just the key ingredients. And I don't have a full list of the ingredients here. But, um, they lathered up easily. It looked like I could have used it after two water additions, but I added a third and it just soaked it right up. So, it could take a fair amount of water, at least on this first use, this first impression. It was easy to lather up. It had some nice ease of lather. And, it had that nice density to it that gives you the cushion and protection you need when you're shaving. All right, and then I had plenty of, oops, I just dumped my towel in the water. And then I had plenty of uh, slickness. I mean, I was just buzzing around while jacking my jaw, just like, just like I do with soaps that I'm familiar with. And just no problems, just plenty of slickness. Even now, <laughs> even now, I'm running my hand after I dried it off with the towel. And even now, I could still feel it. And that's, I love that, I love that. Cause that means it just has that layer of slickness, that hard to get off layer. You know that's good shit. All right. I don't want to go overboard with it because I know there's a fine line <clears throat> between a realistic impressions and what people will perceive. I'm telling you guys, that was a good first run. I'll probably use this multiple times because I got I got a lot of soap here. That's another thing. I mean, it's actually came up kind of recently that, like, the firmer the soap, the more you will theoretically get out of it, making it a better value. I don't know. I don't know where you guys land on that, um, that topic about kind of, like, firmness as it correlates to getting more shaves out of a soap and, and overall value. I don't know where you guys land on that, but a lot of people are, are talking about the firmer the soap, the more value, the more shaves you get out of it, which creates more value. I don't know. But this is definitely good stuff. Thank you, Frank, for sending it along. I'm going to do multiple, multiple more um, 
It's one of those kind of like, I assume this might be a one ounce jar. So kind of like the Sterling Pucks, one ounce. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm guessing. So I could get a fair few shaves on that. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyhow, good first impression. Definitely good first impression. So now I'm going to be using a tester. I'm also testing for beard products. And so this is um, my second week. And I'm using this, this beard product here. I've been using about eight drops per application. I get when I wake up in the morning and I'm on my way to work. I'll uh, I'll put eight drops in in the morning, and then when I get off work and I take my shower, I'll put eight drops in before I go have dinner. So. I'm definitely getting plenty of use out of it and getting plenty of uh, impressions and um, I'm liking what I'm feeling right now. I'm uh, supposed to keep this one rather private. I can talk about it but I can't really go in depth so that's just where we'll leave it. I'm testing. I got multiple different bases at my disposal. And I'm giving feedback. So there we go. It's in. You get a kind of sneak peek of how I apply my beard oil from the bottom up down to the skin level. Um, try to get as much coverage as I can. Go up, go down, and that's that. So. That was the beard oil tester on the end. I've been having good impressions with that. So, all right. Strike Gold Shave Tessa Silk Tester. Got my Lancaster Bowl with plenty of good looking lather left. Plenty of good looking lather in my Grizzly Bay brush here. Let's just do a little extraction. Why the hell not? Don't do this all the time, but just give you that marshmallow <laughs> that marshmallow oh yeah I love it that nice whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. that dense glossy marshmallow kind of melted marshmallow look that's the stuff right there all right no fucking around. <clears throat> so, there you go, guys. A little lather porn at the end. Alright. Let me rinse off these hands. And the Rex Envoy. Don't forget the Rex Envoy. I'm having a great time with that thing. Don't regret that purchase at all. So, cheers. You can see I smeared a little soap on the glass. I'll rotate that. Catch you guys on the next one.